Hello, and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to, and today, I really want to mess around in this new snapshot. There is so much cool stuff in here, and I have isolated a couple of these trail ruins. So I spawned them in in the ocean, because that was the, the only way I could figure out how to, and then put this bamboo box around them and drained out all the water. And then I removed all of the sand and the dirt and the gravel so we can actually see what's left of the structures underneath. And then I went through and I tried to correctly label the different parts. So like we got the, the one rooms and the, the group rooms. We have the halls and the tower. I think over here we have, um, yeah, this is, this is a stable. I think I got all of these labeled correctly. I hope so. So I want to try to transform this back to its former glory. And I'm gonna to try to use some context clues as well. So down here, I have the loot table that you can get from the suspicious sand and gravel right now. Let's have a look-see. So these are the shards. So I'm gonna make some pots out of these, of course. And then we have these dyes, these panes, these candles. These I'm a little bit conflicted about because this suggests that they had these panes in their windows. The only problem is, I think they're ugly. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use those. I will use the candles though, for sure. I just don't, maybe I'll pretend I didn't see these. Then we have the farming materials down here and leads for the stable, of course. So I think I'll pop some horses in there. We'll make some, some farmland out here. I want to connect these with some terrain, right? So they're not just floating. I'm gonna put some grass between them and a farm in between them and all that stuff and connect these roads as well. And then we have these signs. We got oak signs and we have spruik, spruik? Spruik signs. <laughs> Which seems to suggest to me that those were the trees that were nearby. This is what I mean about context clues. I think we will put some spruce trees around here and some oak trees as well. And that'll be some of the vegetation. And then dead bush, which in my mind, because of spruce trees, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll put these bushes in as like to represent the dead bush. I don't know if I'll do anything in particular with the string, probably not. And then we have these four smithing templates, the wayfinder, host, shaper and razor. So obviously I will have some armor in here somewhere with those templates on. But before I do any of that at all, we need to figure out how to put these structures back into their former state. For some of these, like this one, it'll be pretty easy, right? You just like take this, cover up the floor, and then we you know, bring up the walls a little bit with these and bring this stuff around and this stuff around. That's pretty straightforward, right? With some of these other ones, it's gonna be a little more complicated, like figuring out what is going on here. <laughs> like, are these things in here stairs? I guess these are stairs that are kind of in the same sort of pattern that the, um, the end city stairs are in. And then how do you get down from here? I don't know. Maybe you get down this way and this would be a ladder. So we need like a little hallway connecting that. Perhaps, perhaps so. And then there's some parts in here where it looks like the roof has fallen down. So these would probably need to get broken a little bit and lifted back up to where they used to be. This is not gonna be a hyper detailed build because I want it to look kind of Minecrafty. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of bright colors in here and not very detailed roofs. I guess this is a little bit more, I don't wanna say primitive, but it's, it's a different style that's less detailed than the, the style of the villages. The roofs don't have a bunch of stairs on them, but we do have more colors. We have a bigger palette to use, which looks a little bit wild, but I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say it's camp. Minecraft's vanilla style structures are camp. And so we're gonna, we're gonna lean into that style and try to not make it too much of my normal hyper detailed style instead. Why is there just a line of stone going through here? That looks ugly. I made the advancement stone age. So proud of myself. So yeah, that's gonna be our first order of business. Obviously, since this is a snapshot, we don't have replay mod. So I'm just gonna check in with you a few times as I go along through this. Oh, this one though, before I begin, <laughs> this is confusing me. This says it's a large room. But this is below the surface and yet there's stairs down there. So like, how does, how does that work? And then the inside of this is just these bricks going back and forth and back and forth. Like what, 
What does this mean? What are they there for? I don't know. Regardless, though, we have some stairs going up here and we have a ladder, so I guess I will do something underground for that. Let's find out. Anyways, I believe it's time to begin. I tried to press the Optifine zoom button and I don't have it, so let me zoom in in post. It's time to begin. I've done a little bit of work and here is what I have done so far. So obviously connected all this up with some grass, connected these roads here. I took out all of the cobblestone and the cracked stone here and replaced it with stone bricks to make it look fresh and new. I um, These were just squat little bits of terracotta that are supposed to be decor blocks. So I just grew them. <laughs> I, I made them a little bit bigger. I don't know what they might have been supposed to look like, but that's what they look like now. This was really fun to do, to try and figure out like what the setup of these things was like, what blocks should go where in here. So we have a hall here, we have the stables here, obviously this is the tower, and then we have a hall here that I haven't... I don't know what part of the innards here I should keep in what way. I made the other hall a little bit differently because in this tower over here there's also a hall but underneath a lot of those mud bricks that are just kind of hanging in there that you saw on the other one, there's more mud bricks, so I cleared all of them out in here to just make a flat surface, and I might do that over there too, because I don't... Oh, there's a block still there. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be. And then there's, there's a little more tidying up that I have to do here and there, like with these blocks right here. Gotta bring in the stairs a little bit, like, oop, like that. I struggled a bit with the roofs, because... Let's be honest, a lot of them look bad. <laughs> a lot of these look a little bit ugly, but I'm trying really, really hard not to overhaul the design and make them look all intricate and everything. I'm trying to just keep them with that funky little Minecrafty feel. So there's one building here that I have not yet done because I wanted to kind of show you the process that I've been going through as I do these. So I haven't even approached this one at all. And we're going to try to fix this up together so that you can see kind of what I did with all the other buildings. So this is a group room according to the files in Minecraft. So I'm going to try to base this off of this one. It looks like this is going to go in the doorway like this. And then the roof is going to be all yellow. These blocks here look like they fell down from the walls. So I'm going to plop them back, oop, plop them back up here. And then it looks like we'll have a roof that's like this. And then I've been going around and adding this mud brick trim to all of them. At, at one point I had it like covering all the roofs like this, but I think it took away a little bit from the color. They're obviously supposed to be very colorful, but these towers have these like this on them. Um, and so I added that to a lot of the other builds as well. So I'm gonna add that here. This is a little bit weird. The structure of this one is a little bit weirder compared to the other ones, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, we can safely build up this wall like this. Right? And then it looks like this will go like that. Oh, it looks ugly. <laughs> no surprise there. Um, let's have a peek at this from the inside and see if there's anything we could do. Oh no. This looks nice. This looks done. Um, so this is to section off this bit of the house a little bit. I'm going to add another pillar there to ease up that transition. I'm going to move this there like that as well. This part of the roof looks horrible. I'm going to put a pillar there. And you know what? We'll, we'll close in this area like that. And then we can get rid of some of that to add this trim here. <laughs> this one is actually really stumping me. All the other ones have been pretty straightforward, to be honest. Like, even those big rooms, they weren't that hard to figure out. The whole way that this is set up is bad. It's just bad. Is there any way to make this symmetrical? Like, tear down that a little bit and do this? That way, this part of the build is at least symmetrical, and then this part is symmetrical. They're just not going to meet in a way that looks good. Maybe that's the best I can do. That might be <laughs> that might be the best it's going to get. <laughs> so we have we have a room over here 
Um, you know what? Let's let's add a window in there. That's a bad view. Let's maybe add a window out this way. Can we have a window through the front? Oh, that looks cute. And then back here, maybe we'll pop a window in here. And then we have this little room back here. Maybe we can have a window looking out there too. All right, I guess that's all the buildings done. What a hot mess. Oh, it looks horrid. Not that the other ones look beautiful either. I'm, I'm just saying, this old civilization maybe could have used a little bit of like, architectuality. That's a word. Or color theory, maybe. Uh, this is the other one that's throwing me for a loop right now. So I cleared out a lot of the brick pillars that are in there. This is, this is what the underside of this is looking like. Uh, I need to add a nice little way to like get down there that doesn't expose everything, but I'm thinking this will just be a cellar. It said it was a, a hall, or no, a large room? Large room, I think it said, but the brick pillars in here went back and forth like this, like one block in between. There's no space to like move in between them. I don't know what that was about, but this is how I have changed it. So we're probably gonna make that into a little cellar. So yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. I gotta add vegetation. I have to add the, the decoration bits in here. So we have all of these things. I want, <laughs> I'm gonna try one of these out real quick just to see what it might look like. Because these are the things that they've left behind in the suspicious sand and gravel and stuff. How do these windows look? Horrible. This makes it so much worse. <laughs> I'm not using these. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to keep with the blocks that they have given me with everything else, but I'm not gonna use these window panes. It's just too painful. Oh, I didn't mean to make a pun. It's too painful, I'm not doing it, but I will add in these hanging signs. I will add in these candles. I will make pots with these. We'll add in some armor with these and obviously some farmland here. And given that there are emeralds in there, we might just populate this with some villagers because we didn't get any rooms like this in these trail ruins that I spawned in, but you can get a room that has um, working blocks, like villager profession blocks. It exists, it's just not in this one. So I'm gonna say that villagers or ancestors of the villagers maybe lived here, but we're gonna do the best we can with it. So that's next on the agenda, farmland, trees, decorations, and People, let's do the thing. And here we are. Within our little bamboo box in the ocean, we have an old lost civilization. Reborn. So let's uh, walk through this as we add some life to it. I put random Greek words on the signs. They didn't keep the Greek symbols. They translated to English uh, letters and yeah, I <laughs> I like the way that the signs look though. I like the way they look. I did my absolute best not to make this place look too ugly while still keeping it Minecrafty looking, like original generated Minecraft structures. So I towed the line a little bit sometimes, but this here is the armory. So we have all four of the smithing templates that can be found in here on different sets of armor. It with a few other tools like the smithing tables and the anvils and the grindstones and such. In here there is a stable, which we must add in some horses. And it is dying. No, please live. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No. Okay, so all the horses will have a very bad start to their life, but that's okay. It's okay. Now you tend to the horses. That's so rude. What did I just say? I s they don't like me. The villagers do not like me. We'll put a couple more of them in here. You want to take any of these trades, little man? You want this job. This was your history. Your ancestors did this work in a village just like this. Please. Just take one of the jobs. Stay here. What? Not again. Watch your baby carefully. You want to take a job? Nobody does. Nobody wants to work. Anyways, in here, I turned this hall into some sort of shrine, like where you go and light candles and pray or something. We got some of the pots that have the, the shards that can be found in here. Let's pop a couple. Don't stand on the candle. They're so dumb. They're so dumb. So you walk this way, there's the art piece. And then this is a, ooh, I forgot to get rid of the sign, a 
Dipla, apparently. <laughs> oh, we got a sign for the stable there, too. Yeah, so this is uh, an eating area. Some fancy little dining pavilion. We'll pop a few more people in here. You stay put and have a nice good meal. And then down here, there is the entrance to the cellars. Let's have a cellar person, shall we? You watch over the stuff down here. Keep a good eye on it. Then back up. Did I make another one? I did. I didn't mean to, but that's okay. Uh, we got little berry bushes and some big trees. There's a little pile of pots. Don't ask me why. It's just there. And then we have some clay and some coal. Because in here is where the pots are made. We have, in this little room, a kiln. This was a little room that was just built down into the earth a little bit, and I thought that it would make a good place for a kiln. So this is where the pots are made. And then here they are on display. You will be a pot person. <laughs> and now we need a couple more horses. They're gonna have a very rough start in life. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, you're fine, you're fine. Don't be dramatic. Uh, let's you watch the horses you watch the horses then there's a little path that comes this way we have some art pieces here that I spruced up a little bit with some benches and pots between them just a nice little public pavilion it's not a pavilion Ooh, do you want to live in this home do you want to be in here yeah so why are you sleeping do the villagers think it's still time to sleep? Is that what's happening? Is that why they're not taking jobs? Let's do time set noon. Is that gonna make them happier? Will they take some jobs? If we fly back over here, will we see some professions? Yeah, okay, see, now they're doing it. Now they're doing it. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, look at them having a little prayer conversation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I didn't mean to intrude. Let's walk back over this way. So, we have in here a town hall meeting area, basically. Have some babies. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have a town hall meeting area. Oh, I didn't show you how to get up to the tower in the other one. But there is a little stairway on each of these. And then it takes you into a little spiral staircase here. And you pop up to the roof. So, we'll... We'll put a couple people here. We'll cut a, uh, put a couple people on this one too. You get through this one, um, to this one through the armory. Look at you doing your job, tending to your children. Such responsible little, oh, there's already farmers out here. I love to see it. So this is the farmland here. We have the wheat. We have, oh, let's fix this. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, we have the the beetroot seeds here. I couldn't resist putting a few pitcher plants in. I think they look so cool. Very, very alien, but somehow I think they work with like the, the spruce colors. And then we have a couple houses. These are the only houses that spawned in the ruins. So these are the only ones they get. They get four, look at these babies. They get four beds. So there's a little bedroom here, the jukebox. Little setup here, a couple beds there. I guess they get five beds because that's a double bed. There's a little bedroom up there. I don't think villagers can climb ladders, so they'll never get up to that one. And then, oh, is this your home? Oh, a lot of you are fighting over it. Have more fights. <laughs> over population. Look at them spilling everywhere. Let's make more. Have more babies. They will all be your children, the fishermen's babies. Oh, I didn't mean to make more people, but that's okay. I just really need this to happen. Ah, there we go. Okay, let the babies be free. Let them wander, let them frolic in the streets. I can't tell you why I did that. It just felt like the right thing to do in my soul. Oh my God, don't jump. Get down from there. So yeah, this is the trail ruins restored to what they might have been like way, way, way back in the past. Hopefully with some inhabitants, you just walked on your crops and broke them. Hopefully with some inhabitants that are a little more intelligent than these guys. But that is the end of the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you have a name for our little town here? And if you were the one building this civilization, 
Would you have built it differently? Would you have translated these buildings into different things or made their final versions look different? Let me know. I'm curious. Anyways, I am absolutely loving, loving, loving these snapshots that are coming out, and I'm very excited for the new update, and I will see you in the next video. If you like this, maybe subscribe and leave a like and a comment and stuff, and all those other good things. Bye! You guys are gonna need just a few more beds. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is it the bed that they all want? Should I give them more beds? Come out here. We're gonna give you some beds. You wanna play on some beds, guys? <laughs> yes! Come to the- <laughs> Come to the beds! This is what Minecraft was like before these places fell into ruin. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't take it seriously.